catch cup, enclosures, slings. All right, so my package from uh, Fear Not Tarantula has arrived. I have not opened it yet. They have been at the post office most of the day. So we're gonna crack this open. Uh, okay. So this is gonna be a little video here. Um, these are not my first tarantulas. This is actually my third order. Uh, my first one was from Jamie's tarantulas. Second one was from Jamie's as well. And uh, this is my first one from Fear Not though. And they really packaged this good. Whoop. So we've got our enclosure set up. I actually had to just change the substrate in this. I'm pretty pissed off about it actually. Um, I've got more cocoa fiber the block back there right now because I had mixed a potting soil mixture with peat moss and everything in it and uh, I don't know why today I was thinking about it and I'm like hey you know that's got organic material in it it may actually mold and it sure did and that's only been in there a couple days so that really disappoints me because I actually uh, put that in another enclosure for trying to show I'm getting next week with which will be another video uh, here's some literature so um, and I also put it in my aviculara aviculara's uh, enclosure but that has clay balls at the bottom for drainage so we'll see how that works all right <clears throat> so this comes from fear not tarantula i purchased three i actually had like five in my car but they were actually out two of the ones i wanted so i actually purchased three uh tarantulas one juvenile and then uh two slings and got a freebie in with the purchase so i don't know what to be expecting here oh oh wow it did come with an enclosure when I, it's kind of an actual soda cap. When I was reading that, it said about the, uh, the <clears throat> I was buying like the package deal, and it was only like five or ten dollars more. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here. I'm gonna just cut, cut the box. And uh, when I was reading it, I didn't see that it said it came with an actual enclosure. So I was just assuming it came with the supplies for the enclosure. So I went and put an enclosure together. But uh, lo and behold, it actually did come with the enclosure. That's Surprising, considering how how little the uh, the price difference was, and actually, that's like one of the reasons I was looking at it. I'm like, there's no way they're giving me a small enclosure for like five dollars more. So, kind of surprised there. Good surprise, not bad. Good. Keep the styrofoam for builds. So we're taking my time to unpack this, because I'm not sure. I'm assuming the tarantulas are in here. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that enclosure, actually. That's pretty neat. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet, though. We'll see. We may, we may not. Look out, Buck. <clears throat> um, like I said, I actually did order uh, a few more tarantulas. Is this just packing? I don't have tongs or a brush. So prepared. Uh, like I said, I actually did order more tarantulas. One of the ones that they did not have, I found somewhere else. Someone from uh, the Facebook group I'm part of pointed me in the right direction. A little piece of cork bark. It's just literally just a soda bottle cap. That's funny. Um, oh, it's already glued in there. I mean, hey, get out of the newspaper. I like this little enclosure, though. We'll keep it, oh, I'll see how big he is, or her, hopefully. And then uh, we'll go from there. And uh, so that'll be next week's video, along with uh, the feeding video. We're gonna feed my slings tonight. Hopefully the avicular avicular as well, we'll see. We're not gonna feed these guys. We're gonna give them a little bit of time to settle down and get, uh, get settled in before we try that. And then I'll feed them when I house my other uh, group. And this whole order was built around one tarantula in particular, which is going to be this big guy here. <clears throat> I'm hoping that they're all in here. This is getting kind of a small package. Maybe he's not as big as I anticipated. She, hopefully. And uh, when I do the next video, I will also have two cameras for better angles. Hopefully a better zoom on the new camera that I'm ordering as well, or purchased already as well. Okay, yeah, no, not as big as I was anticipating. There's the feeders. It's just a few roaches. 
I've got some of them right now. Not as big as I was anticipating, but all right. I like the little vials though. I, I keep all these. I actually have one of my slings in one right now. So I'm going to move this camera closer, try and outline where I need to be, and hopefully we can get some good footage. I know it's a little bit of a bad angle, but the only other way I could do this is if I was standing over the camera, and that makes it extremely difficult for me. So, we're going to start with this little guy. Um, hopefully you can see the name. The Brazilian black and white. I'm not going to try and pronounce the actual name because I'm terrible at that, but I will label it, and if you can't see the labels here, I will put a text in. This is the Brazilian black and white. I threw him in the order just to round it out so I could get the freebie. Plus, um, they're supposed to be voracious eaters, and I, I really want that. So for his enclosure, hers hopefully, <laughs> um, just some cocoa su substrate here. And then this is actually a very, I don't know if you can see it. I took the end of a marker, like just the butt end, and put hot glue around it. It made little like dimple dishes. I have dishes ordered to... Uh, to actually get here, but unfortunately, I can get about that close and it focuses good. They have not come yet. They're one of them add-on items from Amazon. Oh, excuse me, from Amazon that I should have just bought, but I didn't, and uh, or should just paid the extra shipping for like the ones that were in the U.S., but I didn't, and I got the free shipping with my order ones, and they're coming from China. So anytime between now and the end of the month, I will have them. <clears throat> Gotta love that long-term shipping, so. Catch cup, just in case. I've been very fortunate with my slings so far, and my avicularia, avicularia, pink toe, is so calm, I almost have to physically push him to get him to go anywhere. Her, actually. Uh, that is an actual female that I'm fairly certain is confirmed. This little guy's small. He's not as small as my brachypelma albiceps I got. My, Mex my golden Mexican red rump. That was a small tarantula. Like, I literally pulled this cloth out. I don't know if I can get this out here. I literally pulled this cloth out and thought that they sent me just an empty package until I saw the little guy running around. And he actually refused his crushed roach the other day. So I'm hoping he is pre-molt because he really looks it. Oh, this little guy is tiny. Oop, moving the whole table. Oh, he's coming out. Maybe he might just walk right on out there for me. Hey there, little buddy. Nope, you turning around? Okay, let's do it this way. The towel is very damp. I had to drive an hour and a half home from the post place where these were delivered, the FedEx, and I had to drive 45 minutes to get there from work. So these guys have been in transit for a while. And I've been in transit for a while to get these guys. This guy just does not want to come out. I don't like his stance. It looks like he might take off on me. I gotta turn it this way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Hey there, little buddy. Come on. Right on the substrate. No. Oh, come on. There you go. Nope. You're gonna go up the... Alright. On well, there, if you can see him. He's tiny just slightly bigger than my brachypalma that I got. Come on there, buddy. Just stay. We're gonna go ahead and push down a little hole here for you. I put a lot of substrate in here because I'm not sure if he wants to burrow. I know my brachypalma uh, curly hair actually burrowed, which is really cool. It did along the edge so you can see it. So there you go. You are tiny. So that is the second smallest sling I have in my collection. So where's the lid? Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and shut that. And that was really easy. So, one down. Um, I should have a bigger container here in case they decide to bolt, but I didn't grab it. Okay, this little guy was one that I wanted, and the more and the more I did some research into it, I'm thinking I might have jumped in a little bit. This was my uh, stepping stone into Old World because it has a much more potent venom. It does not have eradicating hairs. And oddly enough, I didn't realize that it was gonna be extremely fast until a lot of people started commenting on the one tarantula form. This is the, I don't know if we can see it here. 
the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. I really, really like the way these look. I'm hoping it's a female because the females have amazing colors. And um, I, I, I want to get pogies. I do. I want to get into old worlds as well. But I was like, I want to work my way there slowly. And uh, this was the stepping stone that I was looking at. And now I'm a little nervous because I see people saying about how fast they are and stuff. So this is going to be new to me. And they're much more defensive. I've actually even heard some people say that they're a little bit can be a little bit more defensive than a pokey. Let's make sure he's not on the lid. These are really tiny vials. I kind of like them. Pull this out. Oh, there he is. If you can see him in there or not, I can't see the screen, so I'm going off of guessing here. So we're going to see if we can't pull this guy out. These water dishes are pretty big. Um, they may be too big for this guy, so we're actually going to take this water dish out. I don't have anything smaller, but I do have another blue dish. Oh, you know what? No. I'll just take one of these file lids right here. It's about the same size-wise, a little bit smaller, but it's not as deep, so I can put just slightly less water in it. I don't want to put a tiny dish in because I do want... dog just scared me. I do want some water in there so that uh, it helps with the moisture. Okay, so this little guy, I don't know if slings can bite when they're this little. I know snakes, they always say like venomous snakes, the babies are dangerous because they can't control their output of venom, or at least that's what they told us when we were growing up about copperheads and rattlesnakes and stuff, but uh, oh, you are pretty, get a close up. I don't know if it's going to show up very well on this camera, but she's got already got like stripes on her back, the tiger stripes. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, you're being extremely calm. Please tell me you're the exception to the species. Oop, nope, you're webbing a little bit. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put you right in here. Let's go ahead and just tap you. This is actually a little bit big for you. Um, are you really giving me threat posture, girl? Like. <laughs> Is that, no, she wasn't lifting all her legs, so it's just cautiousness. I think she's actually just kind of feeling the paintbrush. I'm gently trying to brush her. This is actually going to be a little bit bigger than I was anticipating for her. Shoot, I don't have any... I may put her in that vial. That actually might be what I do. But for now, we're going to go ahead and try and coax her. You just do not want to come off, do you? And try and coax you. Come on, girl. Come on. Really, really slow about it, aren't you? That's okay. You go ahead and be a nice and slow. Oop, there was a bolt. Ooh. Ooh, that was fast. Okay, now she's on... Nope, you just do not want to go down. You want to go up. See if we can't just get you... Ooh, if we can't just get you on that plant. Come on. Just grab that plant. Just grab the plant. Come on. Okay, you're being... Put my hand that close to a venomous spider. Like I said, I don't know if they can bite when they're this little, but... Uh, let's just do it this way. If you want to... If you want to climb upwards, we'll love you. We'll get you plenty of room to go. Come on. Come on. Oh, man, she's got some beautiful colors. There you go, right on that plant. I don't know, we may keep her in there. In a moat, she'll be plenty big for that. Oh, um, we'll add water to her then. One day. The Venezuelan Sun Tiger was on my list of one that I wanted, like I said. This one was on the list of ones I wanted, but I wasn't, like, super, super concerned with getting one anytime soon. I wasn't going to go out of my way to purchase it. This is the Gramast... I, I could just read you this one. Gramastola Eringi, the Rio... in Entry Rio Tarantula. Um, it was on my list. I like the way it looks. But I just, you know, I wasn't like, oh, i got to have that. I'm going to order it right now. And uh, when I noticed that it was in my freebie tab... 
for the purchase price, I was like $10 under. That's why I bought the Brazilian. Uh, if I would have originally got the three other tarantulas that I did want that were out of stock at the time, I could have easily got another one of these guys with my total purchase price. So I'm going to pop this off. This one should be bigger. But since it was a freebie, I was like, hey, let's go for it. Oh, wow, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> okay. That looks a lot like one of the wolf spiders around here. So that, that kind of caught me off guard there for a second. All right. So uh, we're going to be a little bit careful with you. I don't think I'm going to let you roll around on my hand. I don't know your temperament. All right, let's see if we can't. Ooh, you're just going to you're just going to come out, aren't you? You just want to come out? Let's do it this way. Maybe this way. Okay, no, that is actually a threat posture. <laughs> oh, please tell me you're not going to be mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're just aggravated. I understand. Oh, wow, you've got a real red butt to you. That's awesome. Okay. Please don't bolt. Oh, now you're going to sit still? Why did you guys all tear up their... Not your tissue paper near the back so that I can't get behind you without... There you go. Come on, just a little bit. Okay. That's why we need a catch cup. You are so oddly colored. You're like a greenish brown with a red bum. You want to go back up in? I think this little guy was like close to, nope, up, oh, come on, let's go up. I think this guy was close to 50 bucks, regular price, or it might have been more. Ooh, okay, you were just a little, you do not like being touched, noted. Seriously? Come on. You're as bad as my Versi color. She gets out on the rim of the thing and just runs circles around it for the longest time with roach in mouth. I don't know if this is even close to focus for you. I gave her a lot of substrate because they said the Gromastolas like to burrow sometimes. I believe someone even said that this one particularly liked to burrow. Okay, let's not do any crazy bolt. I don't have a hole in my cup. What is this? Uh, have I learned nothing from YouTube videos? Come on, girl. You're really just gonna, you're just gonna do this to me, aren't you? This video is gonna be long enough as it is. I just wanna get this done and feed my tarantulas. Okay, right there. Yeah, substrate. Look at that. No, no, no. Ah! Oh! Damn it! I never the lid ready. Don't you dare bolt. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. See if we can't get her on the lid. Hey, there you go. Come on. Back up to the top again. Okay, get that lid ready. <laughs> Just gotta get her on the substrate and calm. And then we'll be good to go. She's really leggy. We almost dropped the cup. That would have been terrible. Hey, girl, come on. Come on. You know, if you go the other way, my fingers aren't there to scare you. And the brush isn't touching you. Come on. That's a good girl. Right in the substrate. Right in the substrate. Ha-ha!
Gramostola Iringi. We'll have to put water in her dish too as well then. She's a leggy little girl. And I'll have to remember that she enjoys going for walks. Now, the one that I built my entire order around, finally. Whew. Yeah, when I got into this hobby, um, I saw a Metallica, a Pokey Metallica, and I was like, I need one of those. And my first tarantula was a green bottle blue, and I was like, who would ever love black and brown tarantulas? He Like, who would want that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Grandma Stola... Uh, por, por, oh my gosh, the Brazilian black, because they have the old name one here. The Gramostola Polka is the name, I believe. That is terrible that I cannot remember that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the water dish in there. This actually may be a bit of a big enclosure for even... Yeah, well, it'll work. So we've got some moist substrate. I'm gonna make sure we wet these down pretty good then. So this is the one that I wanted and uh, wanted to build the, I built my order around it because if I'm ordering one, I'm gonna order several. That Grandma Stola over there really wants out. And this guy should be anywhere from one to, one and a half to two inches, I believe is what the, what the size was. I don't know why, but I fell in love with this tarantula. Wow, you are actually smaller You may be smaller than the Arengi. Oh, you're gonna just come out? Nope, you're gonna turn around. You were gonna come out. Does not have the adult black colors yet. Kinda just looks like a, uh, a big spider right now, honestly. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, that's, that's actually way too big. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cap her quick. And I'm going to see if I have another one of them uh, medium sling sets. <clears throat> All right. Scratch this uh, enclosure. Definitely, definitely too big. We're going to go with the same uh, premise here. Water dish in one corner. Slightly packed uh, substrate. I'm going to wet this a little bit. Give it a little bit, just around. It's kind of damp already because I just somewhat soaked it. Um, I was expecting him to be bigger, and now that I'm thinking about it, I may have read the post wrong. The reason that this was a $10 extra setup maybe is because the tarantula was actually only an inch, and it was saying something about the two weeks feeders. I'm not sure. Of course, I can't get off my finger. So I may have actually jipped myself a slight uh, half inch of a size. But nonetheless, we got the Gramostola Pokri, I believe is the correct name. Okay, that is definitely the biggest tarantula I've had this close to my hands. Very brown, black abdomen, actually very black abdomen. I'm just going to go ahead and coax her in here. I don't have the steadiest hands in the world. Please don't kick hairs. Hey, you're just... What are you picking your booty up for? Come on. Oh, she got web on me. No. Go ahead and give you some water in here. Hmm. I'm wondering if I ought to use like a smaller water dish for her as well. The Iringi is bigger. I think we're going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and... For the time being, we're just going to give you this cap. I'm hoping they don't dig uh, tunnels, tunnel hides, but they might. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, these caps have holes in them. <laughs> well, that was dumb on my part. 
Uh, I guess I can put a piece of tape on the bottom. I'll tell you what, man, this Grandma Stola is going crazy over here. That's a little bit too much. Work. There we go. Cut some things. Now you're in the side where I wanted to put this. So I guess we'll change. You decorate your home however you want. I'll go ahead and press a small spot down over here. Give you a bit of a starting burrow. I don't know if those holes would have drained much water. Nope. <laughs> oh, right into the hole. Nope, back out. I don't know if they'd have drained much water, but that tape will stop them from draining any. So we're going to set you here. So that was the one I built my entire order around. This was my extra. Can you please just take a break of the whole climbing around trying to escape Houdini style thing? So give you some water. I'm going to wet one side of your enclosure down. Give it a good bit of water there. This hers was actually pretty dry substrate as well. And I was thinking about doing the Venezuelan in one of these little ones here, but I mean he's already tucked in on that leaf, kind of just enjoying himself it looks like, so I do have to put tape on his water dish. It would be easier to maintain the humidity in that small vial, but I th think we're gonna leave him in here. Don't want to come out, buddy? Oh, I think he's actually drinking. Oh, there, I'm probably pissing him off. He's looking down in the... Uh, he's actually aimed downward in the leaf. Like he's taking a drink or something. So, put him back here. He... If this vial was just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger, that would actually work for him. That and a small stick would probably be really good. Actually, I could even just put him in one of my sling carrier cases like this, and it would probably work just as well. And yours is actually pretty wet already, but we're going to overfill your water dish just a little bit and give you some more moisture. All right. These guys are done. We're going to go back, add them to the collection, and then we're going to feed my slings and potentially rehouse my Versicolor right now, actually. All right, so here we have my Versicolor. This is her new enclosure, and I may, I'm going to keep an eye on this substrate because this did have a little bit of that soil mixed in it. I'm hoping because of the drainage, it'll stay, uh, Stay fine, not go bad, but we'll see. So this is her new enclosure. It's just a cork background. I don't know how well it's going to show up here. The branch didn't turn out quite like I wanted, but I did put a watering dish in the branch so that she doesn't have to go to the bottom because I noticed she doesn't really care to go to the bottom. I'm going to actually wet that substrate down a little bit right now. Let me get some water. So we're just going to give this substrate... Just a little bit of a wet down. Um, there's a lot of moss in here to really help hold the moisture. And there is a drainage layer with a screen and a coffee filter to prevent the substrate from filtering down in. So. Alright. So she is fresh molted. She molted a week and a half ago. She has refused to eat since then, so she probably is a little hungry. I'm going to get her out of this Hobby Lobby case and into her new enclosure. And we'll see how she does. She's very, very chill. Like, I mean, that's the most I've seen her move in two days. <laughs> she is very, very relaxed. 
So we're going to see if we just can't coax her over into her new enclosure. She spends a lot of... She tore down her web. I was going to actually feed her and then ha rehouse her the next day, but she tore down her web. And uh, I was going to feed her because she's always up here. But she tore it down, so I don't like feeding her on the glass. Hey, girl, come on. Don't kick any hairs or anything. I have gotten her hairs on me, but it was when I was sexing her moat. I didn't pay any attention, and I got covered in them. Her abdomen is gorgeous black. Wow. I don't know if that's coming up in camera or not. I mean, wow, she's probably not good in the camera, but she is gorgeous black. All right. I don't know how well that's coming up in the camera at all. I can't get a better light. Right now, I do have a better setup in my actual room. Oh. She's probably the one that I would most willingly handle. That is about the fastest I've seen her move. Now, when I housed her the first time, she jumped in the container really quick, this one. But uh, that's about the fastest I've seen her move since I've got her. So that's actually pretty cool. Keep this for whenever I need the next one. Wow, I can really see the fingerprints on my closure now, but she is in there. Just taking herself a little stroll. She's probably a little bit uh, small for this enclosure. Of course, she's not going to show up at all. This is a... 13 inch tall by 8 inch enclosure. And my video, this is the one that I showed how I put the latches on the side, but it's the same design as the uh, larger enclosures. It's only 8 by 13 though. So we're just going to go ahead and shut that. That was easy. And as much as I don't want to feed her without her having a web to like hang on to, I think we're going to attempt to because she does look like she could use some. So to the tarantula. Okay, we're back here in the arachnid room, slash man cave. It's where I do my uh, hunting-related stuff, and uh, just works out perfect because it's always warm back here. So, I'm going to set that water over here. We are not going to be feeding my uh, Brachypelma alba, alba, alba ah, the curly hair, <laughs> Tarantula. We will not be feeding him. He molted Monday. It is Thursday. I want to give him till Saturday. This is my Grandma Stola Portera. Gonna go ahead and just overflow his little water dish. Give him just a little bit over there. Okay. This guy will most undoubtedly snatch a roach without a problem. If I can catch one. Bam. Great takedowns every time. My pinhead roaches are actually getting pretty big now. So I'm glad that these, this one and uh, my other Brachypelma are currently the only ones that are really, well, not this one, the, the new one I got, are the only ones that are really small. So that's great. That was a good strike. So, I'm going to go ahead, close him up. So this is my Versi color. I don't know where... Oh, she's right up front for us. Nice. Beautiful little web. Pretty sure I crushed this guy already. Bam. Wow. Instantly. As soon as it touched. And here she goes for her evening stroll that she likes to take when I open her enclosure. Not today, girl, please. You know what we can do. Whoops. Piss her off. That's what. Yep, here she goes. Nope, okay. I want to get some water down in your enclosure because it's a little dry. She does not have a water dish, but I drip water on her web, and uh, she seems to enjoy that. So that's how we're going to go about her. So she's got her roach. I'm just going to close her up now. She's still 
young and not displaying the bright uh, blue colors. So this guy will bolt down as soon as I crack this cage. No. Ooh. Oh, nope, there he goes. I was about to say, is he actually going to stay up here? And let me get a good picture of him. Nope, going to kick some hairs though, aren't you? I like to kick your hairs. So we're going to get you a nice juicy roach out of my collar. Ah, uh, did I miss it? The roach ran right to him. Let's see if I can get a good video. This is a uh, Chromatopella CP Bessens, the green bottle blue. This was my first tarantula. And I think these guys are just a little over underrated. I mean, yeah, they're at every store, and you can get them dirt cheap, but, I mean, I don't know how well it's showing up right now, but he has gorgeous green. Let me get the camera out here and actually get in his enclosure and take a look at him. He has gorgeous green, like a dark emerald green carapace, brown, reddish hairs, pink toes, and then his abdomen is just jet black. It's He's amazing. Look, they're amazing looking, I think, for, you know... I mean, for like the staple of a collection, pretty much. So we're going to see if she'll take a super worm. There's one. And we're just going to see if she'll take it for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> she definitely wanted it. Wow, she, oh man, I wish I had a better camera angle on that. Man, I did not realize how strong they were. She pulled the tongs. That was awesome. Oh, that's that's awesome. So far, the only thing that can eat my superworms is her and my uh, and my scorpion, who is actually becoming a little bit more tame. I can actually feed him in the mornings. Usually, is when he's out waiting for food. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut that. I think it's struggling. Let's see if we can get some good fang action. She took that quick. Mm, I probably could have gave her a bigger one. So we're going to slide her back over. And speaking of the scorpion, got all my molts on this. I made him this little hide out of foam and then put a kind of concrete material on it. And uh, that's, that's where he lives. He dug himself a hole underneath the enclosure. And he just stays down there. That's the rock. Because of the scorpion king. I thought that was funny. So... Him and my pink toe are the only ones that currently have names. This is uh, Velma. I need to print it out and put it on tag. My niece names most of my pets. And they just got a dog named Daphne, and she's a huge Scooby-Doo fan, so Velma. And we're going to add some more water to Velma's enclosure. I actually texted my sister at one point and was like, um, I think Velma is now Victor. We need a new name. Oh, no, wait. She did name my curly hair. He's Wooly. <laughs> So we're just going to give that a good drenching. And uh, that's awesome. Man, I'm so psyched that she took that worm. I I was honestly like right in her face because I didn't expect her to take it so well, but she did. She hammered that thing. That's the most vicious I've seen her. Like the last one she took really gently. She's, uh, she's not eating it yet. She's just sitting there and it's fighting for its life. So, but... That's great. I'm glad she likes the superworms because I've got a lot of them and I'm actually breeding some. And I'm hoping that when they start to, my beetles start to actually lay eggs, that I'll be able to find some very small superworms to feed to my slings because I think that they would really. I think we're going to stop the video there. I'm going to do some other recording. I've got to change the substrate in. Whoa, Buck. That enclosure, which is like a little rock shelf. As you can see, my reloading stuff, my room is a mess here. But i got to change the substrate in that because that actually has some of that peat moss material in it. And I don't want it molding, even though that will be a very dry enclosure. Hence, dry enclosure, uh, rocky kind of background. And uh, it's a very bland colored tarantula, in my opinion, but beautiful nonetheless. So comment down below if you're watching this and you think you can guess it before next week. Sure, you know, just the, just the right to be right. We'll catch you then.